Welcome to my sweet potato harvest. It is November 30th. It was my goal to harvest this by December 1st. As you can see, we've had multiple days of frost, which has killed back the plants, which is a good time to remove the sweet potatoes because they're not, obviously not going to be growing anymore. You can also harvest them earlier and actually all through the season so that you can be eating sweet potatoes. This is the first year I've grown sweet potatoes, and so I was surprised when I came out here Thanksgiving morning to pick some sweet potatoes to make some sweet potato pie and so forth that it actually takes up to eight weeks to cure sweet potatoes. They need to be properly cured in order to get the sweetness out of the sweet potatoes. You can eat them right out of the garden but they won't taste nearly as good as cured sweet potatoes. I'll show you how I'm doing that when I'm done harvesting. Again this entire bed came from three sweet potatoes and I've actually only planted the sweet potatoes down this one row here with the exception of one plant I planted in that corner. Let's, let's see what kind of yield we get from three sweet potatoes grown in the sand and sawdust using the Midlighter weekly feed and gardening method. I'm pulling out the plants now and we got some sweet potatoes right here. Nice looking sweet potatoes. Look at those. Outstanding. This is from one slip. So we got four nice sweet potatoes from that one slip. Very nice. So what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing the vines, pulling them off, removing the small sweet potatoes that come up with that, and I'll come back to the garden and harvest. I said I'm pulling out the small ones that come out with the vines. This is more than small. Holy cow, look at that sweet potato. What a harvest. I'm very excited. Again, remember, I did not plant any sweet potatoes on this side, but as you can see, I'm pulling up sweet potatoes already from over here and those are simply from the vines that came across the garden. Oh, this is so cool. Now what I did do is when I put the vines over here, look at all these sweet potatoes. I did uh, kind of make a little trough through the here and then put the vine down inside and I covered it up. And I think that helped the plants set roots and then grow the tubers. But we're finding lots of sweet potatoes over here. I'm trying to dig up these potatoes, but there's so many, it's just too exciting not to uh, film this. So we've got, here's another potato patch here. This is from one plant, potato after potato after potato, down in this very soft sand sawdust mix here. Amazing. Look at this all from one plant. This is from one slip. Nice. Love it. There's some more. Great harvest. My wife is out here helping me and we're getting some nice potatoes. Okay, we're down to the next plant. My wife has got the fork out here and she's digging down for potatoes. Oh yes, look at this. Nice potatoes. Just gonna give that a pull. Holy smokes. That is some nice production. Yay, Midlighter Gardening. Holy cow, look at these potatoes. That's amazing. Just sand and sawdust. I fed them with the Midlighter Weekly Feed, which has um, done an awesome job. Really didn't have to care for them much, but what a yield. I've got all the vines removed, and we're now we're removing the potatoes from the bed. They're everywhere. Here we are, we're halfway through the 15 foot bed. So we've gone seven feet. And again, only half of this bed on one side had been planted with sweet potato slips. We're done harvesting the potatoes. My wife went through with the digging fork and kind of moved them out because it's easier for her. I went through like a wild boar and dug all the way through the bed here, just with my hands and my gloves. And we are done with our 15 foot long bed. And I planted, like I said, one side, which is the equivalent of a 15 foot long, 18 inch wide Midlighter grow box. And this is our harvest. What's funny is I brought out this morning a five gallon bucket to harvest. I had no idea that I could get this much from three potatoes purchased at a grocery store. But if it's done properly, using the Midlighter Guarding Method and growing your own slips, this is the kind of yield you can expect growing in non-nutrient soil like sand and sawdust when you feed them properly. 
So I guess the next thing to do is wham. Here's the first bucket of potatoes. I was really hoping throughout the season that I would get at least 50 to 100 pounds of potatoes. Well, the first bucket of potatoes comes out right at 25 pounds. We've got a few more buckets to go. I think I'll exceed my expectations. But what's new? It's the mint lighter gardening method. Here's the harvest. The official weigh-in is 139 pounds of sweet potatoes from three sweet potatoes bought at the local grocery store. That's exciting! That's exactly what that is. This is my curing room. Sweet potatoes need to cure 10 days between 80 and 85 degrees, maybe 80 to 90 degrees, and 80 to 90 percent humidity. So this is our food storage closet. I've got a thermometer back there that gives me a readout in my office and in my bedroom so I know what temperature it is. Right now it's 81 degrees. I've got some water here and I've got a radiant heater here. So this will keep this nice and warm and help the potatoes get sweet. Then after 10 days we take the heat out, we keep the humidity to 80 to 90 percent if possible, and we drop the temperature down to 65 to 75 degrees for two to four weeks. Then they're cured. They'll last a lot longer, they'll be much sweeter, and they'll be a much better tasting potato than just eating them out of the ground. This is a very excited LDS prepper reminding you, if you are prepared, you shall not fear. And if you use the Midlander gardening method, you can have an amazing harvest like this. Please click the links below this video for my entire video series on how to grow sweet potatoes and to get additional information on the mint lighter gardening method. I sincerely hope that you have a wonderful harvest like this in your garden too. Remember to help others learn, please like and share this video. I look forward to your comments below.